tonight's headlines. Government unveil new plans for a simpler flat rate state pension. Details are limited, but early conclusions are being drawn from its working title of Work Until You Drop Down Dead Pension. The video rental firm Blockbuster has gone into administration. It blames an unexpected drop in rentals of Betamax and V2000 cassettes. Senior management dug their head out of the sand just long enough to comment that they couldn't understand it, and the current downloading fad wasn't helping either. Hmm, I think someone from HMV made a similar quote. Steve Wright's Sunday Love Songs show has breached BBC guidelines after inviting listeners to submit dedications for the programme, despite it already being recorded. The show's producers blame the fact that the show was based on a template for a South American presidential election, except the show has a Celine Dion soundtrack. Over 20 years in the waiting, the boy who cried wolf finally lost his crown to the TV weatherman. After 25 years of predicting severe weather since Fishgate, the snow finally came. Italian Mafia find their own austerity measures to deal with the current financial crisis. Good evening, I'm Dave Storry, welcome to Newsleak. Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt wants the NHS to become paperless by 2018. A report by PwC says that a figure of £4.4 billion could be saved. Almost half of this money would be saved by the reduction in the number of paper cuts being treated. UK Head of Sport Susan Campbell warns that thousands of children are unable to run, jump or throw a ball by the time they reach secondary school. Government advice to parents is to move closer to the school. As the weather worsens, we visit our roving reporter, Harry Horsberger, to see how things are at ground level. Are you there, Harry? Hmm, I'd say not too good. Facebook have introduced their very own smart search engine called Graph Search. At the click of a button, you will now be able to find out what all your friends are having for tea and just how much beer they actually drank last night. From this autumn, the price of a lottery ticket will rise to £2, whilst the price for five numbers will drop to £1,000. To compete with this get poor quick strategy, the government have announced the High Street Gift Voucher Lottery, where if you manage to cash your gift voucher in before the company goes into administration, you get your money back. And now we move on to a special section in this week's show. We are premiering the first episode of celebrity chef Lamey Oliver's Meals in Three Minutes. Over to you, Lamey. Hi, and welcome to my Meals in Three Minutes. Not 30, we ain't got time for none of that bollocks. Besides, how would we ever fit the ad breaks in? Now today, we're gonna make a fusion of Chinese noodles with Thai chicken. I'm also gonna throw in some mushrooms, some onions, and sweet corn. Now for this to work, you've gotta get your meals in three minutes head on. You need your chopping board on a wet tea towel so it doesn't move around, and your kettle on. First thing we need to do is take the lid off. Add boiling water. A big splash. Forget the fill level, you'll never find it. It's some imaginary point like the equator. We all know it exists, but just where the fuck is it? Now the hard bit. Wait for one minute. Okay, now we're ready. First, a little sea salt. Some soy sauce. Now for the taste. Beautiful. <coughs> Sweet as a puckin' up of a one-eyed gum tree. First the noodles, then a definite kick of disodium 5. You love it. You mean we've committed to the first full series of that? Christ, it's a good job we didn't take the option on Tom Daly's Splash 2. Oh, do excuse me. Panic buyers have stripped supermarket shelves of bread and milk as warning of massive snowfalls are forecast. It seems the cure for bad weather is a bread and milk poultice. Tesco, along with a number of other supermarkets, has removed certain brands of frozen beef burgers from its shelves in the UK and Ireland after they were found to contain horse meat. Consumers were furious to find that beef burgers contained up to 29% horse meat and demanded a return to the original recipe of offal, chicken lips, pig's eyelids and factory floor sweepings. Traditionalists. TweetDeck, one of Twitter's UK companies, risks being struck off after repeated failure to file its accounts. They have 99 days to file their accounts or the company will be dissolved. In a statement from TweetDeck, they apologise over the repeated failures and realise the damage this sort of publicity brings and intend to ensure... Then they ran out of characters. Well, that's it for another show. Don't forget to send your news stories and one-liners into the show. The email address features in the end credits. I've been Dave Storry. You've been watching Newsleak. Good night.